Hola estudiantes, ¿cómo están? Today we are going to be looking at another very important topic which is subject pronouns which are also known as personal pronouns somewhere. But before we actually look at the Spanish subject pronouns, let's try and understand what is a pronoun here. Okay, or rather what is a personal pronoun? There are multiple types of pronouns in any language. But today we are only going to focus on a personal or a subject pronoun. Okay, as the screen says, it's a word. Okay, it's a pronoun which is used to substitute someone's name in a sentence. Okay, and what does this pronoun do? This performs the action in a sentence. So always remember these two are your hints or tips to recognize the pronoun in a sentence. It is going to substitute someone, someone's name. And it is also going to be performing the main action in the sentence. Alright. Personal pronouns, if you want to look at some examples, it can be I, you, he, she, we, we all, you all, they. Okay. All of these are personal pronouns. Now, let's look at two examples and try to recognize the personal pronoun. The first example is the children dance in the party. Alright. Now, the first thing that you're going to remember is this pronoun, whom are we talking about? Okay, your first question should be, whom are we talking about in the sentence? And these are the ones who are performing the main verb or the action in the sentence. Okay, so whom are we talking about in this first sentence? We are talking about the children. Okay, the second one, second point. They are performing the main action in the sentence. What is the action here? The action of dancing. Right? The verb is dance. The action of dancing. Who is performing that? The children. So that's your personal pronoun. Alright? Let's go to the next example. She goes to the school every day. Again, whom are we talking about in this sentence? Okay? And who is performing the action in the sentence? Who is performing the action of going to the school? Whom are we talking about? Who is the main subject? Very easy. Who is the main subject? It's she. So that's your personal pronoun or your subject pronoun. Okay, so you're going to use these two tips to recognize the personal pronoun in a sentence. And now that we have understood what a personal pronoun is, let's look at the Spanish personal pronouns. Alright, on the left side, as you can see, I have written down the English ones. Today we are going to look at the Spanish counterparts. Let's start with the first one. The first one is I. Okay. How do I say I in Spanish? I am going to say yo. Okay. Y-O-U. Then we move on. We are going to look at the pronunciations later once again. Let's move on to the second one. In English... We do not have this distinction of formal you and informal you. Whether we are talking to someone our age, younger, elder, someone who holds a title, someone like probably the principal of a college, school teacher, we will always say you in English. But in Spanish, we have two different pronouns depending on if it's an informal or if it's a formal conversation. Okay, first let's look at the informal one. If you are talking to a friend or someone who is younger. Someone who is a friend, close friend or a younger person. You are going to use this pronoun. Please bear in mind the accent on the alphabet U. This one. It is important and you cannot skip it. If you skip it, it is going to change the meaning of the word tu. Alright, so it's a mandatory accent. Now let's assume you are talking to, as I said, your school teacher or the principal of your college. You are not going to use tu because it is informal. Whereas you are going to use usted, which is U S T E D. Usted. Okay? Clear with the distinction? Not just elder, you can also say someone unknown, 
someone with whom you're talking for the first time, right? Probably even someone like your father's friend, your mother's friend, someone who's elder, someone who holds a title, someone you're meeting for the first time, we will use usted. We will not use tu. All right? I is yo. You informal is tu. And you formal is usted. All right? Now let's go to the next one. He and she. All right? Very simple. L with an accent on E. Again, the accent is you, it is mandatory. You cannot skip it. Okay? If you do not write this accent, it is going to change the meaning of the word L. And she is Aya. E double L A. Aya. He is L. She is Aya. Alright? Now, let's look at the plurals. Okay? We have looked at the Singular ones. Now let's look at the plural ones. Again, in English, we do not have the distinction in we. When I say we, it can be a group of girls. It can mean a group of boys. It can be a mixed group. Irrespective of the gender, I just say we. We all go to the party. We all dance in the party. We all go to the college, etc., etc. But in Spanish, we again have two distinctions. Masculine and feminine. Alright, let's look at them. Let's start with the masculine one. Nosotros. M stands for masculine here. And let's look at the feminine one. Nosotras. There is only a change of one alphabet. Easy to remember. Nosotros. Nosotras. Okay? Imagine that I'm a guy and I'm with a bunch of guys. Okay, and I want to say, we are going to perform in the show. I'm going to say, nosotros. Okay, now I'm a girl, I'm with a bunch of girls, and I'm saying, we are going to perform in the show. I'm going to say, nosotras. Alright, now what about a mixed group? What do I do? Let's assume I am a part of a mixed group. Boys and girls both. I am going to stick to the masculine personal pronoun, this one. If my group that's going to perform in the show is a mix of boys and girls. I'm going to always use the masculine pronoun. Always. In any given situation, when it's a mixed group, please use the masculine pronoun. Alright? Now let's go to you all. Again, we again have this concept of formal and informal. If you remember in singular, when we looked at tu and usted, right? Even there we had the concept of formality. Okay, when you're talking to someone who holds the title or an elder one. And informal, when I'm talking to someone who's very close to me. My best friend probably. Right? Someone who's younger to me. Similarly, now imagine you're talking with a bunch of your friends. Okay, multiple friends. Now, again, here we have distinction of masculine and feminine. English, we don't have. I'm talking to a bunch of my friends who are guys. I'm talking to a bunch of girls who are my friends. It's always going to be you all. Right? But in Spanish, we again have this distinction. Let's look at it. Again, easy to remember, there's only a difference of one alphabet. Vosotros. Vosotras. Okay? When am I using this? I'm going to repeat this. Because we have this distinction, it is good to remember. I'm talking to a bunch of friends who are only boys. Vosotros. I am talking to a bunch of girls or my friends, close friends, vosotras. Again, what should I be using if it's a mix? If I am talking to a bunch of my friends, or a boys and girls mix, it's going to be the masculine one. Very good. Alright? Clear with this? Nosotros, nosotras, vosotros, vosotras. Alright? And now there is one note which I wanted to make here. This, these pronouns Vosotros and vosotras are very particular to Spain. What do I mean by that? You will know that, Sp that Spanish is not only spoken in Spain, which is in Europe. Spanish is spoken in many countries outside of Europe, especially the Latin part of America, right? 
So, vosotros and vosotras is very exclusively used in this, in, in the euro, in Spain. But now your question is going to be, then how, what do I use if I'm in Latin America, I'm talking to a Latin American person, if I can't use vosotros and vosotras, what do I use? Let's look at it. You all form it. Where do I use it? First use case. Okay, with vosotros, vosotras, we know now when I'm talking to a bunch of my friends, I'm going to use that. But what about if I'm talking to my teachers? It's a group of teachers. What do I say? Very simple. Do you remember what is you formal? Usted. Let's make it plural. Ustedes. We've just added last two alphabets here. Ustedes. Use case. I'm talking to many people who are either elderly, who hold the title. Okay. Teachers, principals, dean. Okay. Or people that you've, who are not who are not very much known to you. Okay, you're meeting for the first time. You're going to stick to ustedes. Alright, and this is what is also used in the Latin American part. Just like I said, vosotros and vosotras is exclusively used in Spain. In Latin America, instead of vosotros and vosotras, ustedes is commonly used. Very good. Now let's come to the last few pronouns. We looked at he and she, you remember? El and ella. What are their plurals? Let's look at them. For they, masculine, it is ellos. Again, in English, we don't have this distinction. They is they, no matter the gender. But in Spanish, we again have this distinction. They, masculine is ellos. And they, feminine is ellas. We've just made it plural. Ellos, ellas. Alright? Now, Let's quickly recap what we just looked at, okay? First one is first person. I'm talking about myself, which is I, yo. Tu, which is you informal. I'm talking to my friend. I'm talking to someone younger. Tu. I'm talking to a teacher. I'm talking to a principal. I'm talking to my parent's friend. I'm talking to someone who I've met for the first time. Usted. Usted. If I want to say he in Spanish, I'm going to say el. If I want to say she in Spanish, I'm going to say ella. If I want to say first person plural, I want to say we. For masculine, it is nosotros. For feminine, it is nosotras. If it's a mixed group, it is always the masculine one, nosotros. Okay. Again, in Spain, if I want to say you all, informal, talking to a bunch of friends. If it's only boys, vosotros. If it's only girls, vosotras. And again, if it's a mixed group, vosotros. Alright, what if I'm talking to, let's say, my relatives, all our elders. I'm talking to my teachers. What do I say? Ustedes. We'll not use this one. We'll always use ustedes. And also, outside of Spain, wherever Spanish is spoken, we are going to use ustedes and not vosotros, vosotras, which is exclusive to Spain. Alright, and now the last one. How do I say they in Spanish? Masculine, ellos. Feminine, ellas. Now let's do a quiz. Okay? Right now, if you feel that you're still not sure about any of the pronouns, go back. Then look at the, the table. Okay? Look at the explanation that I've given. And once you feel confident enough, you can come to the quiz. Alright? Let's start. Now, these are the English, or let's say the names. We are going to substitute them with the Spanish personal pronouns. Okay, let's, the first one is Juan. Imagine, okay, you're going to imagine. I want to talk about Juan. When I'm saying Juan, he is third person, right? If it was me, I would have said I. If it was you, I would have said you. But right now I'm saying Juan, which means it is third person. If I wanted to substitute Juan with a personal pronoun in English, I would have said he. Let's consider Juan as a boy. So he. How do I say he in Spanish? L. Okay? L. Now let's look at Sarah and Emily. Two girls. I'm talking about them. Okay, I'm saying Sarah and Emily, Emily go to movies every Saturday. So I'm saying they go to the movie. But now these are girls. So how should I? What should be its replacement in Spanish? Ellas. My brother and I. Okay? 
Let's look at this. Very important. My brother is he. Very easy. But what about I? We are a group now. We. Him and I becomes we. And let's assume my brother obviously is a boy and I'm a girl. So it's a mixed group. When it's a mixed group, we stick with the masculine pronoun. Nosotros. John and you. Let's assume these are my friends. John and you. So it's going to be an informal conversation. Yes? Because I know them, they are my friends. So, I'm going to use you all. John and you becomes you both. You all. And since, let's assume both of them are guys. Or if it's a mixed group, it is still going to be vosotros. Right? Okay? Now this is again in Spain. Outside of Spain, stick to ustedes. Alright? Next one. Mr. Richards and you. This title itself lets us know that this is formal. I can't say vosotros. So what am I going to say? This is a formal conversation, you all. Maybe these two are my professors. How do I refer to them? Can I just say vosotros? No. I'm going to say ustedes. And the last one. You, formal. Imagine I'm talking to my mother's friend. Can I just say tu? No. Why? Because she is elder. Right? So what am I going to say? Usted. Very good. Alright? So that's it. We are done with understanding the basics. Basics of a personal or a subject pronoun. Go through these slides multiple times to get a hang of it. To understand how do we use them in any given conversation. I really, really hope you have understood and enjoyed this part of the session. And hasta luego.